Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 556. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Diamond Toys, Marvel Comics, Marvel Select Series, Bobby Drake, Iceman, Action Figure, with Ice Slide Diorama Base. The coolest X-Man is now the coolest Marvel Select action figure ever. Cast in translucent plastic, this 7-inch scale action figure of Bobby Drake, also known as Iceman, is the newest entry in the Marvel Select line. In addition to an Ice Slide diorama base, this figure includes multiple interchangeable accessories. It even comes in display-ready Select action figure packaging. Designed by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by May Thamterana, this new one-tenth scale Iceman figure comes with a total of two interchangeable heads, two swappable belts, three special effects ice blast accessories, two blast accessory reinforcements, and his classic ice slide display base. This Iceman action figure was released in 2023 by Diamond Select for the Marvel Select series. Now, the comic of the day is The Defenders, Volume 1, Issue Number 122, with the cover date of August 1983, with story by J.M. DeMatisse, art by Don Perlin, and cover by Don Perlin. This story is titled Things to Come. After Dark Soul finally being defeated in the last issue, this story opens with Miracle Man having reverted back to the meek brother Joshua and is welcomed back with open arms to the monastery. With everything seemingly at an end and things have calmed, Hellcat tells Damon Hellstrom that she loves him. And now that he's no longer the son of Satan, the two decide to get married and move to California. Unfortunately, their announcement is met with mixed reactions from the other defenders. Although most of them are happy at the news, Patsy's housekeeper, Dolly Donahue, isn't sure she approves. While Valkyrie is upset that her best friend is moving away and leaving her. Eventually, Dolly, her housekeeper, comes around, especially when Patsy tells her that she plans to send for her once they settle down. While Valkyrie, on the other hand, flies off on Aragorn to brood. Meanwhile, Hulk, Submariner, and the Silver Surfer all arrive at Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum, claiming that Doctor Strange had summoned them. However, it turns out that they were all deceived by none other than the elf with a gun, who suddenly shoots them all down. At the same time, Patsy and Damon departs from the Defenders. Patsy sees Valkyrie on the rooftop and wishes her well. With everything now changing, Beast gets two new roommates. When he buys a dog named Sassafras and gets a sudden visit from his old X-Men teammate, Bobby Drake, the Iceman. Meanwhile, Valkyrie continues to brood over Hellcat's departure with Damon Hellstrom and the lack of a loved one in her own life when she suddenly summoned Back to Asgard by Odin. Back with Beast, Iceman admits that with school out, he feels like he has no purpose in his life. Later, Beast and Iceman decide to go out to dinner with Gargoyle, Dolly, and the Overmind when Vera suddenly shows up with some friends. It turns out that Beast completely forgot about their date that night so she breaks up with him. This causes Beast 
to also reconsider their relationship. He then realizes that what brings out the most fulfillment is being part of a team like the X-Men or the Avengers and making a difference in the world. Beast, though happy to be a defender, is unhappy and uncomfortable with the group's non-team status. That is when Dolly suggests that if he wants to be a real team, why not make one? That causes the Beast to start thinking of doing just that. This story is continued in The Defenders, issue number 123. Geek Fact While trying to defend Earth from the extra-dimensional, demonic beings called the Undying Ones, Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange manipulated Prince Namor into aiding him, and then teaming up with the monstrous Hulk to ward off the demons. Later, when the Yenian scientist Yandroth menaced Earth with the Omegatron Doomsday device, Doctor Strange persuaded a reluctant Hulk and Namor to help him thwart Yandroth's scheme, forming the non-team known as the Defenders. After Yandroth's defeat, Hulk and Namor vowed never to work together again, but Strange managed to hold their informal alliance together over time. Unlike other super teams, these defenders had no charter or bylaws, no permanent headquarters, no fixed roster, and little affection for each other. The defenders' ranks soon grew. Due to the group's unofficial nature, any individual who assisted them could be considered a member, but only a few select fit the two major criteria of true membership, that they consider themselves defenders and that they are accepted by the continuing core group as defenders. Bonus Geek Fact The Elf with a Gun was a mysteriously homicidal figure that killed a number of seemingly random people before unceremoniously being run over by a truck. Sometime later, another elf appeared, operating with a similar M.O. He and the other elves, like him, were servants of the alien tribunals, and were used by them as part of a complex and seemingly pointless scheme to break up the defenders. Doctor Strange later determined the tribunal's revelations to be a cosmic hoax, leaving the true motives of the original elf and the later ones unconfirmed. State of the Art Gaming <laughs> Now for Intellivision Frogger Now Intellivision owners can take Frogger's life into their own hands. Uh-oh. Now Intellivision owners can hop Frogger home because Frogger has just made the jump to Intellivision. With all the enhanced, colorful graphics Intellivision is famous for. Whoa! But that doesn't make Frogger's journey home any easier. Uh-oh. Frogger still must cross the highway where reckless hot rods hurtle by. Huge trucks go thundering in his path. Every safe jump is a crucial step home. Beyond is the Raging River, where the safety of a slippery log or a diving turtle is all Frogger can count on to stay afloat. Frogger's last leap to his lily pad home must be perfect, or it's back to the road to try again. Good luck, Intellivision owners. Frogger's life is in your hands, too. Oh my gosh! Now for Intellivision by Parker Brothers. Frogger. <laughs> and final geek fact. Robert Bobby Drake was born in Flora Park, Hempstead, New York to William Robert Drake and Madeline Beatrice Bass Drake. Bobby was Jewish on his mother's side and Irish Catholic on his father's. Bobby first discovered his mutant abilities at a young age 
when he found himself unable to stop feeling cold and shivering. A school bully named Rocky Beasley had convinced his gang to attack Bobby and Judy Harmon, his girlfriend at the time. Bobby panicked and encased Rocky in ice, saving Judy but revealing his abilities to his peers. Believing Bobby to be a dangerous mutant, the people of his town, Fort Washington, organized a lynch mob. The mob broke into the Drake household and overpowered them. The local sheriff noticed that things were getting out of hand and took Bobby into custody for his own protection. The story made its way to Professor Charles Xavier, founder of the X-Men. And the rest is history. And on a side note, Iceman is not only one of the first gay mutants, but he's also an Omega-level mutant. He was also considered an Omega-level mutate by Supergiant, an Alpha-level mutant by Apocalypse, and a high-level threat by The One. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible, and I hope to see you again Thursday. This is Cat Fan Comics Man, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. Out.